Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide to the Apex registration. We will walk you through the entire Apex registration process covering each essential step and the documents you will need to submit. So let's start. Hello everyone. Today we will be seeing how you can apply for Apex. So for if you some, some of you may know that for SINP for some of the NOCs category an Apex registration is required. And a letter from them is required that your engineering and training has been approved or some other profession. But if you see like this for SINP document given by uh, SINP itself, you can see for some of the category like for example say 2173 software engineer. They have mentioned that please provide a letter from Apex showing that your application for registration as an engineering and training has been approved or a letter from Apex indicating that you have been assigned a confirmatory exam. So in this video, we will be seeing how you can apply for Apex and how you can achieve these two categories. Either you can have the engineering training been approved or you can have an confirmatory exams assigned to you. So we'll start. First step is for you is to do the Apex registration. So what you need to do is type Apex registration in Google and click on this first link how to apply. Once you click on this link, it will show you a link for creating an account. Click on this account and type your name. Give your email ID. And click on sign up. Once you click on sign up, you will see that it is created and now a conf account confirmation has been sent to your email. You need to go to your email and click on the activation link. Once you click on that link, your account will be activated and we will be able to log. So once you have created an account, go to Google and type Apex login. It will give you a page to sign in. Go to the sign in page, type your Gmail ID and your password and click on sign up. It will navigate you to the dashboard of your account. Here you can see your profile, contact information, invoices. Invoices you can see only once you have done the payment. So you can see the invoices of so those payment. We have to go to the application because we need to apply for a new application. So I have already tried one application. So that's why you can see one example here. But what I'll show you, I'll start from you. From, I'll start from a new beginning. Click on apply now. Click on engineering. And then I'm going to do it for engineering and training international graduate. For those who have done a bachelor of education of outside your Canada, they have to go on to engineering and training international graduate. Click on Once you click on apply now, it will take you to this page. Here it shows you the steps that needs to be done for this application process to be completed. First is the application form that needs to be filled and application submission guide. And for all the others, if you see, there is an Apex step mentioned after this. So this means this task can be completed only by Apex staff. So what we need to do, we need to start from application form and then we'll move ahead how we can proceed for this further task. So we will click on application form. Okay, it shows you here what would be the payment of your uh, application. So here you can see it is say, saying $200. So what we are going to do is we are going to select a designation for engineering and training. Click on next. Acknowledge it. Okay, and then you can start giving your details. Now you have seen, I have filled all in the details. So what I'll do, I'll click on next. Now give your academic qualification. I'll quickly fill that also.
okay so you can see i have filled in my uh, education details now academic qualification and now we'll click on next so they are asking do you have an immediate supervisor who can help you in epic apex uh, application so i will select no my first language is english i have completed a degree at a university where the language of instruction was english yes or we can select my first english as language is english as no also not a problem and if you have completed ielts you can mention here that i have completed one of the english exams as ielts so i can change my first language as english to no because many of them will not have english so we'll click on next are you presently a member in training former member licensee or an applicant with apex i'll say no have you previously applied with another canadian american or basically have you either applied for any other process or anything you can do that i'll select no and click on next okay so they are asking here whether you want a seal on your license so it is not required for sinp so i can say i do not want to receive a physical seal we need to specify the name that we want to have on our certificate so like they have mentioned indicate the exact way in which you wish your name to be shown on the certificate so you can give your name the whatever you want to be on your certificate and then click on next okay now you need to do the declaration here you can read that and accordingly you can say that click on next so you can select the languages you know here so i can say hindi english okay give your date of birth give the consent click on next and now you are at the payment page at this point you need to do the payment okay once you have the payment you will re receive an invoice fix so i'll click on return to application summary here as this is a sample example but once you have done the payment what you will see is you will see a tick mark here okay and i'll show you the sample how it looks like and then you can click on application submission guide here you just need to submit that yes i have read the submission guide you can go and uh, read about this okay you see now you can see a tick mark here similarly when you will do the payment you will see a tick mark here that application form has been completed now let's see what you need to do for further you can see in this guide itself okay click on this now here they have mentioned what needs to be done so first step they are saying apply to wes for icap course by course credential assessment the assessment must be sent directly to apex from wes so from wes you can directly ap apply for icap course by course credential assessment so just to be making to make sure i can tell you that 
scores by cross evaluation is different than what we have done the assessment earlier for uh, normal express entry draw so they need for each subject they give you some grade that needs to be sent to apex so you, that you can apply directly from wea site if you already have done the assessment that can be upgraded to course by course assessment it's a very simple process but i will make a different uh, video for that for that you don't need to do anything just apply in wes and wes will take care of sending those document to apex because when you will be applying in wes you can select the option to whom you need to send at there you will automatically see a apex option i will cover that in a different video now let's see second once you have received your application id and it is determined that a detailed academic assessment is required you will be notified and an invoice of academic assessment fee 210 will be posted on your online profile okay so what you need to do is you need to pay the application form fee of 210 dollar and then if they need an academic assessment for your uh, application and another 210 dollar you need to pay and that will be available online to pay fill it Second is download proof of identification fillable form. Complete the form and send the completed original form by mail post to F. But that needs to be sent to your Apex by a speed post or a courier. Okay, you can send it anyway. So we'll go through what you can do for that. The following items may be added to your requirement list after we have taken the preliminary look of your application like self assessment resume and other official program. So once they will once you do the payment you will let, they will let you know what you need to do. Mostly self assessment and resume needs to be done by everyone. And self assessment and resume needs to be sent to Apex through an email ID mentioned here which is document dash academic review at Apex. So what I'll do, I'll go back to here. Okay, so once you do the payment, this task will be completed by Apex. Okay, that application form is completed. So that will get completed automatically. And then an application fee paid will also get confirmed. If they need to give you a further payment, that may be available. Once you submit the form, okay you will receive an email which will have your user id till now you were using your user id as your email but once you pay this application fees and submit this and a user id needs to be changed to your uh, an id that will be provided by apex it may take one or two days to receive that email so i'm showing you a sample how your application will look once you have completed and given the payment so once you have done the payment you will see you will see a tick mark for application form and application form completed in full so you don't have to do a tick mark for anything for application form completed in full by apex you don't need to do anything it will be done automatically by apex it may take some time so wait you will receive an email for that okay and you will as i mentioned earlier once you have done this payment you will receive a, a mail from them in a day or two about your user id that user id has been updated so it would be a five digit number then again you need to pay a one more fee for academic assessment fee where they will assess your academic qualification for that they will need a self-assessment and a resume for you so you may have to pay this fees again so this will get enabled and you have to go and click on this and pay again a $200 fee. Okay. Now coming to how you will work on this proof of ID, WES assessment, self-assessment and resume. I will create a separate video for all these that how you can give the proof of ID, self-assessment and resume. So thank you everyone for watching.